So that's what the Baker Amendment will do. But if you want campaign contributions by a brand new union, by a whole bunch of new employees that are getting point hired of order, the Mr. State, Speaker. His Representative Long, do that. state your point of order. Representative Doubt knows he's out of order. Uh, Mason's 124, avoiding personalities. And debate a member must confine remarks to the question before the House and avoid personalities. Uh, he's also out of order under motives. Paragraph 3, it is not the person but the measure that is the subject of debate and it is not allowable to arraign the motives of a member. Representative Doubt, if you could proceed with your remarks without arraigning the motives of members or the reasons why members are putting forward legislation, if you could please confine your remarks to the DE2 amendment and the substance of that and avoid personalities and motives. Representative Dowd. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I would invite members to listen to what I'm saying. I'm saying the Baker Amendment does not do that. I'm not questioning his motives. I'm not saying he's doing that. I'm saying he's not doing that. Those are different things. And if you think I can't give a speech on this floor without questioning your motives, you think I haven't been here long enough, maybe. I could stick around a few more terms just to torment you. But I think we all know what's going on here. 